Three places the scrum off can stand on a defending scrum you didn't know about. First one, no further than the attacking side's last man's feet in the second row, so anywhere alongside this offside line. Second place is behind the hindmost player of the defending team, so right here. When you go past this line, then this becomes your offside line, you can't cross it. But you can move sideways any way you want along this offside line. And then finally, if you retire all the way back to this offside line, which is 5 meters behind the hindmost player's feet of the defending team, then that becomes your offside line and you can't cross it until the scrum is over. The offside lines for the scrum off for the other team would be the exact same offside lines when they were defending the scrum. Still unsure about the rugby laws? Make sure to drop by my channel. We have a whole playlist discussing all the rugby union laws.